welcome to this training video in this training video I will demonstrate backbone.js actually my focus will be demonstrating a backbone.js example and through that example or by that example I will be explaining the different concepts of backbone.js actually my focus will not be uh, describing the different concepts in backbone.js but probably I'll be more focused on how the different concepts in concepts from backbone.js are utilized in this example I think it will be some just an overview understanding how the different concepts are used can be used in an in a web application that's where the focus will be so I think in a, in a future training video I will be showing step by step the different uh, backbone.js concepts you can see if you go to sitestree.com and you can see there is a uh, presentation on introduction to backbone.js at a later time I will be using this presentation and describe the different concepts in backbone.js step by step but at this moment I will use an example application and then we'll show how this application has used a different concepts in backbone.js so where to start let's see if you want to use backbone.js you can download backbone.js from here the source code and the some example application actually the example application that I will demonstrate this is uh, taken from here so if you want to download you can see that you can download it here anyway first uh, take a look what the application is doing you can see that uh, this is how it looks like so you can give your tasks here one by one so it lists here one by one you can see there is a mark all as complete you can mark individually and there is a cross icon to destroy it and you can see it is showing that how many items are left how many items are not marked so one item is left marking and zero item is left marking this is also here so when any one of these items are checked we can see there is a control clear one completed item or clear two completed items if you click on them it goes and the view uh, changes in this application we will actually be using also client side storage just HTML local storage when you clear it goes to that storage okay so this is more or less the how the application works and you can edit an item from here if you double click so on the double click event you can edit it and this click toggle and toggle check and check is there so it also dynamically updates this one this does this one so I am just trying to uh, show that there are many different events and here the corresponding enterprise event so there are some events on the view and the, so there will be some corresponding code for sure uh, to render this and to display these and those things or for corresponding this item or this item there will be some corresponding functionalities in the background for sure and you can see there are some static text this doesn't change this also doesn't change so this is how the application works now how can I relate it to different concepts in backbone.js so I probably can inform that uh, I assume that you know the model view controller architecture and what a model is what a view is what a controller is so you know, know this and also I will assume that you know about the collection concept collection I think if you 
have worked on the C++ or if you have uh, worked with the theory of data structures, you will know this, some list, queue or hash, all those things. Anyway, we will also be using the collection concept here. Okay, and model concept that definitely we will be using here. So, how all this is here? Let's see. What you do when you uh, implement some system, you try to concept the individual concepts. Individual concepts in terms of physical object or individual concept in terms of abstract concepts. And you try to model them in the models. And you try to define the relationships among these models. That's a different thing. So, in this case, what you can find to be the model. I think that to do concept jeta se to do list but task list concept jeta se okay i am going into bengali sorry so the task list concept that can be defined as a model in this case we will not go into that model relationships anyway so the individual task list to do to do item those can be defined as the individual model and we can also define the collection. I think this individual task item they can be part of the part of a collection. So the overall collection concept that will be containing individual task list or item list, task item list, task item I would say, task item individual model. So in the code you have to define a model that will represent the individual item and you have to represent the collection that will have this individual model inside them and when you are rendering this so we will be using two concepts like view concept and template concept views it represents the total views and templates templates should be part of views right why why do we do template i think there is some uh, presentation and functionality we want to separate them we can assign the templating to one time, one uh, one team and views to another, and the model and those can go to another team. But one team can do multiple things that are different thing. But if we separate the templates from the views and business logic from the views, it becomes easier if we want to modify if I adjust the application to some other changed requirements. It becomes easier. So anyway, there will be some two complete templates. We will be defining one template here. This is the one template will represent this part. Another template will represent this individual item or item list. Okay, I would say I think the item list or item. Okay, when I will be going to the code, I will see and I can explain more there. And view is the total thing view is the total thing and the template belongs to those views and views and those functionalities those falls into the model model thing and i think it, it, it is becoming complicated if i just want to say in, in terms of this here but uh, without showing you the code probably I can <coughs> take you to the code and try to explain what are the different stuff doing and how everything fits together so you can see this backbone master it is downloaded from the gate and this is the example and this is the to do's list here and the index.html this is the main part Example to those. Okay, so this is the HTML5 doc type, and this is the heading section, the usual stuff. So we can see that how this HTML is there. So let's see how the HTML is structured here. 
so this total thing I think this total stuff right this total stuff is kept under a deep section you can see it to do app header and footer clear completed this we know that it comes there so this total part is taken kept in this div and actually this is be, this will be considered as the main view of this application i think when you will have a large application there will be many such views and in many different html pages but we have just only one html page and only one view and this is the main view and we are not uh, including this part this instruction part and this uh, i think credit credit part as part of the view because those will not change dynamically those are static text text we can define view when there will be some dynamic nature so that using those models and all those things we can dynamically control the content of that thing and the all the actions we can dynamically control all, all those parts so we are just defining we'll be defining view this and when we'll be going into the views you will see that this to do have this id this will be related to the main view of the application and you can see this is the instruction div it is just left as it is static credit section so these are not being part of the views and this view it actually makes uses of two templates one is the stats templates it just defines how these stats sections will be it does not uh, write any actual data here it does not uh, insert any actual data here and those are being done by view object or the model all those interactions things and dynamically we are just defining the template here the structure and this template structure and the views the CSS those will be applied on this to make it look good on the user interface so this is another template you can see this is the individual item all this individual item this is that template the template structure you can see there is a checkbox on the left there is the level the title of, of it and this part you can see percentage title percentage done checked I think it is just if done is true then it is checked or otherwise false it is just that part checkbox che check or uncheck part that is the logic I think this will be done dynamically and the destroy this is the right part destroy icon it probably is done through the CSS class destroy yeah it's not probably it is done in this way and when we will be editing this stuff so the inside box will be filled up with the text and value is coming from the title so whatever title is dynamically come here on double click on the edit box the title will be propagated there so anyway, this is just a template defining how this individual section this item individual item will look like the structure of this individual item row and another template you can see it there and when we will be showing you the backbone.js code you will know that all these templates are being considered under that main view and then they are dynamically rendered and the functionality are defined there so you know the structure so now see it here okay this is the backbone.js code you can see the starting point of the application it will be event based and dynamically it will be coming here anyway so you can see there is a model which I told in the beginning so we have that to do concept to do item or task to do item that is the concept and we have to implement it in a in a model so this is the to do item model so there is not much so there is some toggle function anyway and we are telling that each of these individual to do item or to do task those will be kept in a 
to do list collection so this is the collection concept that we are, that we are using here so it keeps what it keeps the model individual row individual model of to do item so it is there and we are using local storage on the clear and this remaining remaining is working on this list and next order is working on this list so the functions are defined here remaining you can see three item labs or not it is just the when you are adding each of the individual to do item it is coming ultimately to this to do list right and so we can apply the remaining function on it and we can find out how many are left to be cleared so it is there and we are creating a to do variable that is actually a collection variable and this collection variable actually contains this to do model so there are two views as we have told we are creating the new view here this is the application view so you can see that it extends the backbone.js extend so el dollar what does it say if we go to the html you can see there is a div that is this id to do app let's say this is the first main block to do app so this is the main view and what we are telling here is this this view this backbone dot view backbone dot js view this is becoming the owner of this div section so this view will control the total content and the interaction of for this div section so this el is making this view that we are defining here the owner of this to do app div section and this view is using the stats template as you have defined here so it is having a link to this template that will be using as a template so it is using that template and another thing is then this main view as we are telling this main view also contains the individual items and the corresponding list so actually this will be defined as a sub view and those sub view will actually use this these templates and as the sub view will be becoming the part of the main view so this template is also becoming the part of the main view so the main view it is using the status template and actually what will be happening in in some of the actions events or functions defined by this main view will be using one of the functions let's say add one entry that will be creating the to do view the individual item view and that will get added to this main view so in here for this main view what we are defining we are defining some events key press event click event click event click event on the toggle all element and clear completed on the click event on clear completed item and key press on the new to do okay let me let us see new to do if you go to the html what is this new to do you can see this new to do id it is the text box there so this text box so we are defining a key press event and while it is going create on enter on enter key press it will be creating that individual item right we are defining it here clear completed id why is this clear completed let's say clear completed on the bottom right clear completed if we click on this so clear completed function will be called it is defined in this view somewhere toggle all it is the mark all toggle all the checkbox here if we click on this what we are defining here 
toggle all complete function we will know and initialize you know when this view will be created this initialize function will be called and we are what more we are doing in this initialize function we are defining a javascript variable or backbone.js variable to the to different controls let's see this new to do this that we know the input box control thus this js input variable is pointing to this this is all checkbox is pointing to this and we are assigning this to do listen to this to do it is the collection as we saw here to do is a collection we are assigning some mapping some events and what it it will listen to it's not event mapping it's actually we are making that control listen to some uh, listen to some events or actions and corresponding mapping is there render this is actually how this view will be rendered this render function is the part of the main application view so how this main application view will be rendered this is defined here you can see what it is telling if we have any item remaining to be cleared it is showing all this stats section and also this section but if you remember when we came initially to this screen this section are not there this section are not there there are sub studios and this input box so how this is being controlled or if we just clear so this the bottom part is totally cleared and it's the initialized view so this rendering how this total view will be rendering those function or those the logic or the sequence are being defined here so this is the collection collection length how many items are in the collection if there is no item in the collection we hide the main section we hide the footer section so what is the main section if you go to the html you can see the main section id so mark as and the, this one is the, the this is the list of the items that are being displayed so total this section is being hidden right if we don't have any stuff to be cleared and if we have any stuff to be cleared so we are showing the main section the footer section all the stuff so if you define it here so we are showing display this on everything comes here so this render function of the main application view is defining how the view will look like to the user and this is being dependent how many items are remaining to be cleared so the logic is being here and we know these functions when we are defining this event mapping for this type of event this type of this function will be getting clear getting called and we are defining those functions here so this is the main application view now we told that uh, and there is one another view that is sub sub view of this main application view that is the individual item viewer or to do item view that is the individual stuff and we know there is a template for it this is the individual item template if you come here let's see add one add one when it is being created called to do add add one All right so to do view which model it is using it is using the individual to do model it is using right so let's go to the to do view what is in the to do view to do view it is telling which template it is using the item template it is using and for each individual item it is also defining some events and corresponding functions when this event will occur this function will get called so if you individually toggle these items let's say click toggle toggle down this function is being called so for this individual for this view we are also defining some events and the corresponding function initialize you know it will be called in the beginning render function okay when this individual i think when this part will be rendered how it will be rendered so this is here 
you know the edit double click the edit function okay that's all I believe so we have utilized the model concept from backbone we have utilized the collection concept from the backbone we utilize the view concept from the backbone we have also utilized the templating concept from the it is not actually backbone concept it's just templating concept backbone is using this templating concept and we are making this template as part of the views we're just mapping those and the el thing that you have to understand that with el what we are doing we are making one view to be the owner of a, of a deep section the backbone.js is flexible you can use many different templating engine with it what else i can explain we did not use the routing here that can come eventually so actually for from bangladesh there is a video in bengali you can watch it in youtube it is the same video I'm making in English and I plan to make another training video that will explain the different concepts from um, Backbone and I will be using this thing and it will also be in Bengali I hope this will give you some clue how to use Backbone in your application and Backbone or not I think the conceptual stuff that's probably is not any less important than understanding backbone if you know how to model or how to map views and the conceptual structure, conceptual structure in that case I think it will not be a big deal how to use backbone probably any kind of backbone.js or angular.js or any other JS in the market if you know how to map your system or how to map the system you are trying to implement the uh, software for if you know how to um, find out the models, how to find out the views, how to define the relationships between models, how to structure the overall, overall system, the conceptual part, if you are good at that, learning this backbone.js or angular.js, it will not be that difficult. And again, if you uh, come from a comparison background or if you have used similar concept in other programming languages, whether it's a back back end or it's a front end, I think it will not take much time for you to get used to using backbone.js or angular.js. It's not that you need hundred years of experience in backbone.js. It if it also depends on your background, right? You may have used very similar thing, or you may have used that different individual concepts as part of your theoretical study, as part of your study or work in in a different platform. So if somehow you have learned it from here or there and if you can relate everything together so it should not be a difficult thing you will easily get there anyway so this is all for today and thank you and have a good day bye